Feminist Creativers presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. Greetings, my dear friends. It is a pleasure to be back, and I hope and trust I find you well. Now, as promised, we are still in the book of Genesis. It's chapter 19, and I want us to finish off on verse 30. Now, Lord has just been helped to escape from Sodom and Gomorrah. But somewhere between Sodom and the mountains of Moab, Lord decides to make a detour to Zohar. And we find this in verse 30 of the Amplified Version. It reads as follows before we pray. Now, Lord went up from Zohar and lived in the mountain together with his two daughters, for he was afraid to stay any longer in Zohar, and he lived in a cave with his two daughters. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen and amen. Let us pray, my friends. Kind and gracious Father in the heavens above, thank you, dear Lord, for the privilege of considering your word. Dear Lord, it is our prayer that you may lift us up from the valleys where we are and place us on the mountain tops. Dear Father, may we hear you speak to us even as we go into this weekend and into your word. In Jesus' name we have asked and prayed, amen and amen. As we ended on Monday, we left Lord on his way transitioning from Sodom and Gomorrah headed from the mountains of Moab. But somewhere along the lines, in spite of the instruction that he has received, you are not to look back, you are not to stop anywhere within the valley. Lord then makes a counter proposal to the angels and he says, I cannot make it to the mountains of Moab, but I would rather have a residence at Zohar. It is a little town and it is next to Sodom and Gomorrah. And the angels say, I were going to allow you to have a stop in Zohar. And he says, I cannot make it. The angel says, okay, have it your way. Stop over at Zohar. Remember, the angel had made it explicitly. You are not to stop in the valley. And Zohar, besides it being little, the passage we have considered says he went up from Zohar. That means Zohar must have been a lower place. Zohar must have been in the valley. But at point number one, Lord seems to have a city-to-city city mentality. There are some of us, even when God has called us and he has said, come up to the mountaintop and enjoy this experience, we would rather move from one city to the next city. When Lord found himself in Sodom and Gomorrah, first of all, he was not situated there. He was situated toward Sodom and Gomorrah. And not long from there, the angels are now coming to take him out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot is not prepared to move out of the city. Lot now counter proposes that he moves to another city. What is the city in this context? City is the place, the bedrock of sin. We are not keen to move from a city to a mountaintop experience where we can have and enjoy the vision of heaven, where we can see things with clarity, where we can enjoy the fresh breath of air. We want the polluted air of sin. We enjoy the polluted atmosphere of sin. City to city. God is calling you and he says, child of God, by the end of this week, come up to the mountain. Come up to the mountain. See things the way I see them. And point number two, Lord, when he got to the mountain, this time he was prepared to live on the mountain. Verse 30 says, and lived in the mountain. We are not being called to visit it over the weekend. I know some of us are going to church on Sabbath this tomorrow. Some will be going to church on Sunday, the day after tomorrow. Even then, we are not being called to visit our churches. We are being called to live the life of being on a mountain seven days a week. Don't stop anywhere. Don't look back, but live on the mountain. May this be your experience. May this be our, my experience to 
I strive too long for being on the mountain. For when I'm on the mountain, only then will I hear the voice of the Lord speak to me as it spoke to Moses at Mount Sinai. When I'm on the mountain, I shall hear the voice of the Lord like Elijah blowing in a still, small, and soft voice and wind. Leave on the mountain. It shall be worth it and you shall hear the Lord speak to you. And above all, point number three, Lord feared to stay any longer in Zohar. Fear sin. Fear its environment. We live in a world where our consciences have become seared with sin. No more do we fear it. We are indifferent to it. People are walking around in town, they're naked. When you look at them, they think you're the one who's wrong. Fear sin. Exclude yourself from such environments. People live in places where vulgarity has become the mode and language of the day. When vulgar is spread even on social media, we have the guts to respond, lol, laugh out loud. Fear the environment of Zoa. Do not live any longer in those environments. The environments we walk in, the environments we work in, the environments we live in, they have become contaminated with sin. What has happened to our fear? Fear to live any longer in Zoa. May even this earth become so contaminated that God will decide as he did with Zoa and as he did with Enoch. Pardon me. God decided Enoch is too good for this environment. Let, him let me take him out. And because Enoch was that good, Enoch had to move to heaven. Until and unless we become too good for this sin-contaminated earth, we shall remain here. God is coming to take those who only realize and believe this place has become Zoa. This place has become too little. I need more space. I need a mansion. I need a mountain where I can hear the Lord speak to me. Point number four. This I must say with the greatest heaviness in my heart. Some of us, we escape Sodom with Sodom. Escaping Sodom with Sodom. Lord has lost his wife. He is now remaining with his two daughters. When they left Sodom, the offer from the angels was, get anything and anyone that you can get out of Sodom. And Lot left with nothing out of Sodom. Do not look behind. Do not stop on the way. Leave Sodom and her ways altogether. Now when they get to the mountaintop where they are destined to be, the children of Lot left Sodom as virgins only to lose their virginity to their father. Isn't this Sodom at its best? Sodom on the mountaintop. Sodom lived in a place of safety. Are we not escaping with Sodom? We have been lifted from Sodom. We have been elevated. We have been delivered. But Sodom is still in our homes. Sodom is still in our churches. Sodom is in our lives. We have escaped Sodom, but Sodom has come with us. Ah, oh my God. Are we not going to let go of Sodom and leave it behind? Praise be to God. At point number five, out of this incestuous relationship, we're born the Moabites. And out of these Moabites, Ruth, shall be born. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord. Even when we mess up on the mountain top, God has a way of turning our mountains of Sodom, our mountains of Moab, into an ancestry of Jesus Christ. There, 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 there at the path for the birth of Ruth, Ruth was set. Even though Elimelech were to go out there and find a way of refuge in Moab. God had a way of making good out of evil. May he make good out of evil in your life today. Move from city to city mentality. Live on the mountain. Fear sin. Escape Sodom and leave it behind. Blessings 
and peace. Amen.